when I read the first scripts, I thought this might be something very big. This might be something very cool. It's different than any other series we did in Germany. Um, it was a genre, and genre we we're not used to do. Also, hat er sich in Luft aufgelöst. Alles ist genauso wie vor 33 Jahren. Alles wiederholt sich. So this was something I always dreamed to do. Uh, I always wanted to be in that kind of uh, uh, in that kind of movies. And so when I read the first uh, 10 episodes, uh, I didn't know where this series would go, but uh, it was very diff uh, different than all the other stuff and uh, also technically um, the way it looks. Yeah, it was very special, very unique, and that uh, that made me uh, uh, made, made me made me crazy about it, and um, and I didn't understand the thing. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to ask you about that. Thing. Yeah, I wanted to know when did you start like to maybe uh, get all the things together to understand what the show was about and when the sh uh, and where the show was going to. We never, we never, <laughs> any but no one did. Diese Stadt ist krank. It was planned as a three uh, pieces uh, uh, series, um, a trilogy, um, but uh, we only had the first ten episodes, yeah. and after that, uh, they had to do the next uh, season during uh, while we shot uh, the first one, and uh, the same was uh, with the third season. But when we did the third season, we didn't even know where it ended. We had just our lines, and no. No one knew uh, what was going on, and uh, I think the last three books they came. Uh, we we had to stop. Uh, really, we had to stop for a while. We had to stop shooting because the uh, the, the, the books weren't ready. She was developing the books. She had all in her mind, but that at the end, that every clue fits in his uh, uh, in the piece where he has to fit in. This was uh, it was very difficult for the for the writers to um, to bring this all together. Well, and what about the resemblance? How uh, impressive was for you to see the young Ulrich and the older Ulrich? And what about the rest of the cast? Because I think that's one of the impressive things of the show. This is really amazing. What the work that the casting director did, uh, Simona Bea, is really a, 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 a it's, it's a, a, absolutely fantastic. She found all these guys, and you, you don't even have to uh, uh, to, 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 to subtitles under it uh, to say this is the young Ulrich or this is the old one. Uh, and also with the other characters, you immediately immediately know which character it is. It is, and this is um, uh, I don't know where she found all these people. <laughs> Yeah, which looks so similar. For instance, I have to say the other uh, Ulrich. I think it was you with with a wig and maybe with some makeup. And then I, yeah. I look it up. So it's like looking yeah, in the right. mirror. Uh, lot, lots of people, lots, lots of people on Instagram. They uh, uh, in the commentaries they said what it wasn't him. It, <laughs> I, I thought it was him. So that was the first time I thought no, I don't look like him that way. <laughs> I mean, you must have seen that it's a different actor somehow, but no. But when you are into the uh, series and you concentrate on the stuff, then you, you forget about it. I can't um, project myself being so old. This is <laughs> something I don't want to I don't want to do. <laughs> I, I project myself being younger, you know. And uh, and when I see the younger Ulrich, uh, this I really could have been like him. Yeah. I think I really could have been the young Ulrich. Yeah. Uh, it really looks. He really looks like I did uh, uh, twenty years ago. scene uh, I liked it a lot because uh, you, you follow you follow a character the, uh, one of the main characters and to a point where he does a, a, needs to do a decision 
um, which isn't very popular by uh, by hitting, trying to, to, to beat the young child to death. So this made it very crazy in some kind of way, so that you that you think about is it is it right that he does it? <laughs> Otherwise, the Helga would kill his ch children. Can he children? Can he change something in time? Because at that point, uh, we still thought we could change something. In, in, when when we, we change something in the in the future on the past that that it happens uh, to change, but it didn't. So, um, but shooting the scene was really awful because uh, I had to look at these guys, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, the young the, the young Helga. I had to look at him in a very mean way, and um, uh, we tried to do this like a like a hunting game. It was <laughs> when we shot it. It was for him. It was like a game that we said, and then I follow you. And he said, Yeah, follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and follow me. And we we never told him how really bad the scene is. And when I hit him with a with a stone, at the end we put another uh, we put a puppet in, and it was it was it wasn't him at all then anymore. But uh, but he had to play this fear. Um, when I was above him, it wasn't very nice to do this. It, uh, really, it's it's not so so funny. But uh, we talked a lot with him about it, and that's a game. So we we did fun. Out of out of it, so that for him it, it wasn't that uh, mean. But when I did the dubbing in the in the in the in the studio, uh, and I dubbed the uh, the lines on it because it was very emotional, the sound wasn't very good. I had to dub it. This uh, then I had to cry when I saw this because it was so uh, intense and awful, and oh, it really made me shiver. Yeah, yeah. I got goosebumps. This was a way for this all to end. Story is is the one I think where the um, where the people who watch it that they take their hearts uh, to him, yeah, because it is heart touching, because it's increasing and increasing in every scene. It's getting worse, uh, and he tries to do something good, and it gets worse and worse and worse. And he's not such a moral character at the beginning, but the pain he has to feel um, and uh, the pain he has to suffer makes him. Uh, Makes him that very um, for the audience, uh, someone where they um, where they can adopt on, so where they can uh, put their heart in to, um, because they start to cry with him because it gets it so worse, and um, that wasn't easy to play because each scene was uh, a horror, the next horror and the next horror and. Yeah. Um, uh, It became worse all the time, and uh, you had to cry. You had to cry all the time in each scene. It, it was very on a high amplitude of emotion uh, to act. So, um, so I'm glad that it's over. You know, <laughs> because it's just it was just going down the drain all yeah. the time. <laughs> thought about each little piece yeah. which was in the series so that the uh, the audience could always think about something uh, which is there and there and what does it mean there and there were so many hints and um, so that was a very good work and uh, they were the masterminds of course because they invented all that stuff yeah. uh, although so sometimes we sat in the woods and we were uh, running through the script and say, where am I going and where, why am I doing this? And even Baran said, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should phone Janke and ask her. I don't, I don't get it at the moment, so, um, because it was so complex. Yeah. It's, I think it's the most complex show I ever saw. That's what I like about it, that in the end it all fits together. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't leave you with anything. There is a clue in all that thing. There is one clue, and uh, that's and, and 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 the audience will get the clue why this thing happens. Wir können unserem Schicksal nicht entkommen. Was ist denn noch von mir? What about the impact of the show? Because it's the first Netflix German show, and it has an impact all over the world. Here in Argentina, huge, huge fan base in Argentina. So, how does it make you feel? What do you think of this impact? Yeah, it's, it, this is huge. It, it's a huge impact. Uh, we would never have expected it that big. I thought it would be special, and because um, the, uh, optically and uh, um, 
the look of the show uh, was uh, on a high, very high worldwide standard, uh, you could say. So that, that, that makes it consumable for everybody in yeah. the world, I think. But that it would go through the ceiling, uh, we, ne we never thought about this before. Even it's bigger it, all over the world than it is in Germany. I mean, it's 93% of the people are watching from other countries. Whoa. Uh, Germany is only 7%. The, the Germans said, um, uh, oh, this is so dark, the show, and uh, there are child's missing, you know. Um, uh, I, I don't like to watch it. So, so some kind of genre. It, it really, it, in Germany, it had a tough way. And then it became popular all over the world. And this is something which is, which is funny about this uh, streaming um, stuff, that you can do something very local, something, something very unique in... Uh, Which, which is very local, a very local product, and um, but you can spread it all over the world because it's broadcasted in 190 countries. Yeah. Uh, but when you don't, uh, when you don't travel, you don't feel this, you know, because um, uh, I've never been to uh, South America, so I don't know about the fans. It's uh, it's fun to talk to you now to see uh, uh, what the impact is. I was shooting. Uh, some days in uh, in New York, and people on the streets uh, they came and tried to, uh, and asked me to do photos. And I said, "Give me the photos. I, I do. I, I do it. Give me your cell phone. I do a photo of you." <laughs> and they said, "No, no not of us. Of you." <laughs> and I said, "Why me?" And they said, "Because you're only from the from dark." That was the first time when I met uh, when I really felt something like it's not impossible. They know me here in New York.